Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How is everyone doing today? So, for this video, we've got 11 new bugs in the new Halo MCC update for you guys. Now, the purpose of this video isn't to like nitpick or bash MCC or anything. It's to find bugs so that um, S343 continues to fix MCC further. Uh, they'll have this uh, record, to, uh, this video to help them uh, squash out more bugs to make MCC even better. So, that is the main purpose of this video, but it's also to uh, show you guys some interesting glitches here and there as well in the new MCC update that came out recently. So, the first uh, glitch we're going to show you guys is on ODST. So ODST was never on the Insider, so it never really got the extensive like user testing that the other Halo games got. So there's a lot of things that went unnoticed in ODST. For example, when your health is a little bit low and you're taking like hits from uh, enemies, you can already see it now, but the screen is like flashing like crazy. It's like it's like lightning constantly flashing, and if you're taking a lot of hits, um, I don't know. The, the flashing is like unbearable sometimes, and uh, if you have like seizures or something, you're prone to seizures, it's it's not a good thing either. Um, by comparison, just so you guys know that that is in fact an MCC bug, this is the 360 version of ODST, the backwards compatible version. As you can see, our health is low and we are taking uh, damage just like we did before, but our screen is not flickering and flashing like crazy. Now, in the previous set of bugs, I showed the um, your HUD does like flicker like crazy when you're drop pod at the very beginning. I think this is related to that. It's like a similar, maybe like lighting glitch. But at the time, I did not notice like this level of flickering when you just when you get hit by enemy weapons fire. So this next uh, for number two, the next bug is on Halo One Anniversary, and it's in fact if you uh, if you run out of time on a Warthog run, as you know, you get the uh, the losers ending, the you lose ending, <laughs> where uh, you, a cutscene plays that shows the uh, the pillar bottom blowing up. Now, we've all seen this cutscene before, but with the new MCC update, it seems like the, uh, the cutscene is just suddenly cut short. See right there? Uh, it started exploding, and then it just cut short, and then you revert to last checkpoint. It's supposed the cutscene's much longer than that. It's like cut in half, basically. So it doesn't matter if you're on co-op or solo, It just the cutscene's always cut short there. This next one's a pretty uh, big one, actually. Um, it's possible I was doing something wrong at the time, but I've done like... I've done this before, and I've never had this issue. Um, the uh, the audio logs in ODST. There's 30 audio logs throughout New, uh, 29 audio logs throughout uh, Mombasa streets, and one on Data Hive. Uh, so as you can see here, me and my friends, we we spent like an hour and a half <laughs> getting all the uh, audio logs. At this point in the theater mode clip, I don't have all of them yet, but at least you can see that we've already got quite a few here. Um, so what happens when you get uh, 29 audio logs is that it unlocks an easter egg on a mission data hive where that, uh, that cop that normally gets killed by the drones, he actually survives and he goes further into the mission and he goes into this room where he tries to cover up evidence because he's a crooked cop and then when he sees that you discovered him, you exposed him, he turns on you and you have to uh, take him out. Um, and then in that room is also the last data log, the 30th data log, audio log, I mean, however, even though uh, my friends and I, we did three-player co-op for this, um, but I've done that before on a previous version of ODST on MCC. Uh, even though we did that, at this part in the mission data hive, with the same players, um, and this is like right after we got all the audio logs, and we confirmed that we had all 29 of them, when we come here on this part of the mission, the, um, the cop does not come down with us, and he dies from all the drones up there. Well, actually, if you saw my previous video, he actually just uh, drops dead or disappears for no reason. There's actually no enemies up there <laughs> to attack him. But, yeah, so... Unfortunately, it seems like getting all the audio logs does not carry over to Data Hive anymore. It has no effect on the mission. As you can see here, when I go to my uh, inventory or the, the map thing, whatever, it shows that there's no audio logs. We did not get a single audio logs. Even though throughout the whole mission, when I helped my friends, they all got the audio log achievements, you know, up to like the 29th one. Um, but even though they have all the achievements, and even though I've completed the audio logs before myself, <laughs> way back, I had a full completion of the audio log achievements. Um, here on this mission, Data Hive, it did not show up. Now, what we did on a previous mission, if this helps at all as far as steps go, once we got the audio logs, we ended the game there. And then we immediately started up Data Hive right after. And by doing so, it seems like the audio logs don't carry over. Um, so 
it seems like the audio log Easter egg doesn't work anymore on ODST with the new update. But you know, I might have been doing something wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that should have worked. Now this next uh, bug is actually, I think it's more of an oversight, but um, so in the playlist, the campaign playlist for MCC, if you go to the cross game playlist, the Master Chief Saga and the legendary Master Chief Saga, they have, they're supposed to have every single Halo mission in them. It's supposed to be like one huge playlist, one cross game playlist of all the Halo missions. However, one mission is actually missing. And that mission is the Halo 3 epilogue mission, which is the uh, the cutscene after the credits from Halo 3, where Chief is on the section of the rear section of the Fort of the Dawn, uh, as well as legendary ending there. Um, but as you saw there, Halo 4 has its prologue and epilogue, so the epilogue is definitely supposed to be included, but it's um, it's missing from this. And it's also missing from the legendary uh, Master Chief Saga playlist as well. But all the other games have their prologue and epilogue cutscene missions it's just halo 3 that's missing its epilogue mission and that's it so it's more of an oversight i'm sure it can be added back now this next one is on halo 1 anniversary and only an anniversary graphics it's a very small uh bug but it is a uh, visual bug uh, i've only noticed it so far on this mission uh the silent cartographer it's inside this building here underground you can see a lot of lines flashing on the walls. Uh, it's it's kind of similar to uh, that lighting glitch that happened in previous insider builds of MCC, but it's more of just like flashing lines this time and just highlighting uh, lines along the edges of uh, what I assume are like polygons or something like that. Or it could be a lighting glitch, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's just a really minor thing there, but I did want to point it out anyways, um, just for the record and you know, hopefully it might be uh, fixed in the future if it helps. Uh, this next one is uh, also on Halo 1, but in classic multiplayer, of course. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the steps to reproduce this. It, uh, it happened pretty quickly, and we didn't even realize what was going on until we, uh, until we started recording. So what happened here is we were just messing around on Warthogs, and I guess my friend Swarthog flipped over, and when he got out, I guess he tried to unflip it or something, or um, something along those lines, and it caused him to somewhat halfway clip to the ground. And as you can see here, from my perspective, half his body is in the ground, and he cannot get out. He's, he's trying to jump and everything, he's trying to move around, but he's pretty much stuck here. He can slightly move in the area, and he can still attack me and shoot me and stuff. Um, but he is pretty much stuck in the ground and like I said we don't have a way to reproduce this but it is a pretty funny glitch that um, occurs uh, occasionally I guess on at least on Blood Gulch we've only done this on Blood Gulch so far uh, but like I said it seems to happen around the time when you like flip a warthog or you flip out of it or something I guess it pushes you on the ground um, I, I have no idea but it's I guess it's something along those lines but I did just want to show it because it is kind of a funny glitch <laughs> Uh, seems like Spartan like halfway in the ground like that. Now for this next one, uh, this happens on other languages, not English. Um, sometimes on other languages, I've only tested this on Chinese mostly. But when you in in game, when you hear like people talk over the radio, like other Marines, you hear like static sounds, like you know you can tell it's a radio message. You're talking over the radio, but. There's several instance, instances throughout the game where there's that, that radio sound effect is not there. I'll let you listen. Alright, so as you heard there, um, that Marina talked over the radio, did not have a radio sound effect, and he sounds like, you know, he was just talking like in person with you, like right next to you. But when Cortana responded to them, she she did have that radio sound effect. Uh, so it's definitely missing it on this part. And there's other instances as well through the game, but I I didn't have time to like list all of them. It also happens on Halo too. I like listen as well. Alright, 
All right, so as you can hear, it's the same thing. Uh, the announcer over the speakers does not have the radio sound effect or anything. It just sounds like he's talking like right there in the same room with you, right next to you. All right, so this next bug is also on Halo 2 Anniversary, and only in Anniversary graphics as well. The, um, the previous one is in Halo 2 Classic and Anniversary. But anyways, so on Halo 2 Anniversary, um, if you look at the reflection, and it's kind of tough to see, I barely noticed it myself, but this is a minor bug as well. But if you look at the reflection, the reflection of the, those red lights there, anything with a red light on this mission, if you look at the reflection in the glass, the reflection is a green light instead, as you can see right there as well. Uh, so it does not reflect the correct color, it only reflects the green color. So it's a tiny bug, but again, I just wanted to point it out there. You know, I want to hunt out every single bug. Uh, so I'll show you a few more, few more examples of the uh, the glass reflecting a green light, even though the actual light is red. Uh, and while I do that, I do have a couple puns, as promised, uh, for every video. <laughs> so we'll use that time now while you take a look at the uh, the reflection colors. Um, so when an escaped prisoner was caught camping out in the woods, it was a clear case of criminal intent. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Um, so it's okay to borrow a book from the public library once in a while, but try not to overdo it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough puns for uh, this video. Uh, it doesn't have a much longer video, but we'll keep it at that. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, uh, in classic mode it's not affected, it's only an anniversary, like I said. Uh, and actually I do want to quickly correct myself, uh, I did not test the, um, the radio sound issue in classic mode. Um, but I assume they're the same, unless, unless like Anniversary use new voice actors or new sound effects, which is a possibility. Um, but it's it, it's easy to test it really quick. Now for this next one, this one's actually a pretty game-breaking one, uh, quite literally, actually. So th this happens on the mission, uh, the Spartan Ops mission, the Halo 4 Spartan Ops mission. Uh, it's Episode 9, Chapter 1, or is it Chapter 9, Episode 1? I don't remember. But it's, it's, it's the mission called uh, The Search for Halsey, or Searching for Halsey. On this mission, uh, and this has been uh, actually uh, mentioned by other people before, uh, but I did want to make a video of it just to show exactly where it happens um, and exactly like everything that goes on. But on this mission, if you play through normally on legendary difficulty, and some have even said uh, happens on other difficulties like um, heroic difficulty, but on this mission, when you get to the part here, um, when you, got, you have to keep activating the two turrets to cover you, uh, just like a little bit later in the mission. Uh, there gets to a part where when someone says they're trying to flank you, uh, or they're flanking you, and at that point, like after Miller says they're flanking you, that's when the game crashes. Now in this case, my friend crashed before me, so that's why the game froze. Um, but or that's why he's lagging out right now. My game hasn't actually physically crashed yet, but his already physically crashed. He said it uh, it froze and it made that like buzzing sound when the game freezes, and then uh, like a few seconds later, it kicked him out to the home screen. Uh, but in my case, I was able to keep playing for like a few more seconds uh, and then my game just abruptly cut out there. And it also froze and kicked me back to the home screen. So that's a pretty game breaking one and if you play on Legendary, it's impossible to finish Spartan Ops and Legendary because of that. So just want to show that there. This next one is also uh, pretty uh, famous now for the new update. But um, I do want to add a, few, a little bit of new information to it. So. If you use the assault rifle in Halo 1, if you shoot someone in the foot, it will it will look like you're doing damage to them. The foot will bleed and everything. Uh, bleed a lot, actually. But it does not do any damage to them at all. No matter how much you shoot them. No matter how much they bleed. And it also affects the right ankle as well, right over there. In that little spot there, it also does zero damage at all. No matter how much you shoot them. But any other part of the body, when you shoot them, it's fine. Um, it's you know it's not it's not entirely like below the waist where it does no damage. It's just the foot and the right ankle. Now for th this, we did uh, go ahead and test every single weapon possible in Halo One, including vehicle weapons, to see if anything else affects it. I'm not going to show every single weapon that we tested because um, I can tell you it's only the assault rifle. We tested everything, even like uh, the flamethrower and uh, warthog chain guns and ghost cannons. Uh, none of them are affected this way. All of them do damage correctly. It's only the assault rifle. Alright, for our final bug, uh, this one uh, 
someone else also showed me this as well. But this is a minor uh, bug. It's the teleporters on the mission on a map derelict. Uh, actually, Halo One teleporters on the MCC update, the new one, are kind of choppy. If you look closely in the middle when it, when they teleport, you can see like their body like briefly shows up in the middle. It's like it's like they their body's like flying really fast to the other teleporter, and you're not supposed to be able to see that. I did test this on Halo One on the original Xbox just out of curiosity, just to confirm. And indeed, when they go through the teleporter, you don't see that transition between teleporters. Um, and who knows, maybe it's even possible to shoot them <laughs> between the teleporter transitions. Uh, that'd actually be pretty cool if you could like intercept someone mid-teleport and kill them. But I'm not sure if that's possible. But I'll, I'll give it a try in the in, like, future and play around with it. But yeah, it's just a little minor bug here. Uh, but yeah, so that wraps it up for this video. That's all of the uh, new bugs we found so far for the new MCC update. Um, it was a big update and it fixed a lot of things. I did have to applaud 343 for uh, fixing it. And they did say they're going to keep finding more bugs and fixing MCC and add more features and stuff as we go. So that's why I did make this video because I do want to help them out with that and uh, show them this information. Uh, but other than that, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure to leave a like as always and leave your thoughts and comments. If there's anything you want me to check out, just uh, let me know and I'll do my best to look into it, of course. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.